In this episode of the Daily Digest, I am going to show you how to use interapp audio apps to record MIDI or audio into Logic Pro. Yes, indeed, it is a thing. My name is Jade. This is how to app on iOS. Let's dig in. This is the app that you are going to need to do this. It is called K. Q Voice Plugins. It is $7.99 on the App Store. There's a whole lot of things in this app, which uh, you can see here, TalkBox, Pitch Shifter, Noise Suppression, Loopback, Vocoder. We're not going to be deep diving into this app in this show. I'll be doing a later episode on all of this stuff. So you'll need to download this app to get started. Let's open up Logic Pro. Yeah, so you'll see here I've got an acoustic guitar track. If I hit play, and I'll show you why I've got that here very soon. What we're going to need to do first is create a brand new MIDI track. So let's do that. We hit the plus button over to MIDI. Once the track is here, we go down to instrument, and we're going to need to search for loop back one out. And if you search, Loopback, you'll see you'll get a bunch of these. Loopback one, two, three, four. You can use any number. Just make sure that the whatever number you choose is going to have to correlate with uh, where you're getting the Interrap Audio app from. And I'm using AUM today. So there it is. This is the Loopback uh, app here. That is found in KQ Voice plugins. And oops, let's make it a little bit larger for you. So as you can see here, it's seeking... It's, it's installed, but it's asking for another input. It's it's wanting to connect to something else, and we're going to do this. So we'll shut this down for now. We'll close Logic in the background. So I'm going to use Sample Tank because I love the acoustic guitar in here. So I'm just going to do a search for Sample Tank. There it is. So it's an interrap audio, so you can't use it as an AUV3. We're opening it up first by itself. Make sure we've... Uh, got some sound so there it is it's a beautiful sounding acoustic guitar it's connected to my midi keyboard right here as you can see <clears throat> so now that that's open we can close that we need to open up AUM now it's always good to open up interrap audio apps beforehand and we're going to create an audio track here that is done so now we can open sample tank so we need to do a search Sample, uh, spell it right, would, that would be really good. Sample tank, so that's now installed. If I click on here, it takes us over to the app and back to AUM. And in the effects slot, very important this, you need to search for loopback one. And there it is. So now when I open this up, you'll notice it says it's running. It's connected. Now what you need to be aware of is to make sure that it's muted. Yeah, because we're, we're going to be hearing it now over in Logic. So over here, we want it muted and vice versa, because you can do this the opposite way as well, too. You can send Logic instruments over into AUM. You can do that as well if you want to. So let's close this for now. Next step, very important. Head over to your routing up the top here. And we want to send KQ uh, Voices plugin over to Sample Tank. So we're going to click that. And you can see they're connected. And you'll know if they're connected by clicking off and you'll see this little dotted outline around. So that's saying that they're connected. We're all good to go. If we jump back over to Logic now and I play a key or just uh, we'll bring up the keyboard here. And the buffer is really, uh, there's not much delay there. It's working pretty damn good. You can see it's all connected here, running, all connected. So essentially, I can mute this guitar here. And if I uh, set the metronome on and hit record, I can just play with my keyboard. And there it is. There's the MIDI all recorded in. Who would have thought it could actually record an interrap audio app into something as MIDI? We can play it back. It's there. It's definitely there. We'll bring this back over here. Hit play. Mm -hmm. 
So the one drawback is, of course, when you open this up, uh, you open this project again, you're going to need to have AUM open in the background with all the rest of it set up so it can pull the sound through each time you open up this project. Of course, we could transfer this MIDI into a brand new audio track by selecting and creating a new audio track. Bring up our lovely mixer here in Logic. We'll make this full screen. Make sure we're in setup so we can go over to the loopback MIDI channel we've just created create a send, a bus send. So that's created an auxiliary send here. We'll turn this up over here, the, the send. Now we want to send this bus over to that new audio track. So we just click over here, select bus, like so. And uh, we'll make sure it's in stereo as well. So that's in stereo. And now all we have to do is arm this track, bring down here, and if we play this back and hit record, we can now record this MIDI in real time into an audio track so we don't have to keep pulling it from AUM. Like this. And that is done. So now we no longer need this MIDI track. We have our audio. So there's that. But also, let's now mute these tracks because I've got this guitar track here that already has MIDI in it. We'll keep this one unmuted. We'll delete this now. Let's now drag in the MIDI above that I recorded using the Logic Pro acoustic guitar and check this out. So damn cool. So now in real time, we're pulling the interap audio sounds from AUM into a MIDI track in Logic Pro. And this sample tank acoustic is just amazing, yeah? Makes a massive difference. All right, so let's clear this track out. Let's start again and do this with something else. So we'll we'll shut that down. We'll go into our background here and close out a few things that we don't need. Let's get rid of sample tank. A few of these things here. I've got things running in the background. We'll uh, go over to AUM and remove sample tank from here. We'll leave this in because we're going to use this again. Yeah. And now I'm going to use something like a, let's do soft drummer. So we'll do a search because not all of these Interap Audio apps can record MIDI. So if we hit play here on Soft Drummer, yeah, cool. Again, Interap Audio, and you know, you can export MIDI files with this app. So there's many ways you can use Soft Drummer, but let's try this. So we're gonna jump over to AUM now and load Soft Drummer in here. There it is. So we've got that connected, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different now. We're gonna jump back over to uh, Logic Pro. We'll create a brand new project, create a MIDI track once again, and we're gonna load in here our loopback one. Open it up, make sure it's connected. Looks like it's running, it's all connected. But this time we wanna make sure that the drums over in AUM are syncing to logic so we can hit play over there or play over here and it's going to uh, link up and we can do this with ableton link so i have ableton link uh, set up over here and i think you can do that by customizing your control bar uh, whereas it's in modes i think i can't remember where it is is it right in front of me ableton link transport display modes it's somewhere there ableton sync there it is so that's your ableton link setup so now if I turn on Ableton Link, it's now trying to link to AUM. We'll jump back over to AUM. And I already have Ableton Link enabled, and you can do that by going over here. It's connected. You can tell it's connected because it's got this little chain link up here. So now uh, I should be able to, in theory, jump back to Logic and hit play, and it's not working. <laughs> That's interesting, isn't it? Um, does it link up? Or do I have to go back over here to 
and set the routing. Let's go over here. So we've got loop back and we want to set this to our soft drummer. Let's make sure we're doing this correct. Soft drummer is linked. Cool. So there's that. That's linked. Boom Tish. Does it work here? Maybe not. <laughs> there you go. Um, have I missed something? Let's go into settings over here and uh, hit, pro, where are we? Uh, recording, MIDI, I think it's in project settings. Recording, synchronization, Ableton link is selected. So I didn't have transmit, receive, start and stop selected. So there you go. And there we go. So we've got it hooked up. So you've seen in real time my mistakes because mistakes make you better, remember? So that's how you do that. So now it should just work here. I can record MIDI in here. So if I hit record, you just should be able to record some MIDI, yeah? No, it's not working like that. Because as I said, not all InterApp Audio sends MIDI files. So how do we get about this? How do we make this happen? I don't know. Let's find a way. There's got to be a way to do it. All right, what we're going to do is we'll just close this here. We're going to create an audio track. And we're going to pretty much do the same thing as what we did before. We're going to route this uh, instrument here over to a bus first. So we'll go up here and select our edit. We'll go into this MIDI track here and create a send, create a bus, create a new bus. So here's our new bus. We'll turn this up over here. So we're sending that out to this bus. Then we want to send this bus over here in stereo to our... So we're connected via the bus here. So that's all good. Now I'm just going to bring this down here and let's go into our settings up here. I'm going to turn off our count in so it should start straight away. We're going to go over here to record the audio track because that's where we want to record it. And if I hit record, this should work. I hope so. Fingers crossed, eh? Let's uh, go record. There you go. We can stop that. We don't need this now. We we can get rid of this. We've recorded our drums in here. It's all done. We can, you know, just for now, we'll just mute that. And we can turn off A Ableton Link because we've got our drums. It's all ready to rock. So this can be done the opposite way around also. What you need to be aware of if you're doing it the opposite way around, I'm not going to go into the full length description of it, but we'll show you with a new project so it's nice and clean so you understand. If you wanted to send something like a, a synthesizer from here, you'd create your synth. And remember how in AUM we chose the loopback option as an effect. So you would uh, create your instrument and then you would need to add loopback in here as an instrument. Uh, so let's do loopback 2. Right, so this is loopback two, and when you open it up, remember how the opposite, we had to mute it over in AUM. You would mute that over here, and then you would open up your AUM. Let's clean these out. And you would put the loopback in the instrument. Loopback two, and now, they should connect, but you'll see here the sample rates may differ. So you can go in and change your sample rate to make sure it's uh, connected, the same sample rate in your settings. Yeah, so make sure that's all, all good, but it's exactly the opposite way. And then you can record here into AUM from the amazing Logic Pro. <laughs> awesome stuff. All right, that's it for now. I hope this helps you. Interapp Audio now available. I know it's a workaround, but hey, it's the best thing we've got. Now available from our amazing uh, app that we've been using, KQ Voice Plugins. There it is at $7.99, and it should help you do those kind of things. I hope this video has helped you. Please hit the like, do the subscribe, and all that stuff, and um, we'll see you on the next one. Remember...
Do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better. And we'll all rise together. Bye for now.